everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist where I teach beautiful soulful women just like you learn how to love yourself, trust your intuition and manifest your heart's true desires. Today we're going to be focusing on trust. Why? Because it is crucial on our self-love journey and I cannot wait to share this with you. I've actually just finished listening to the audiobook Braving the Wilderness from the fabulous Brene Brown. And I've come to listen to a lot of her um, podcasts, uh, not podcasts, um, interviews and her TED Talks. And I was totally blown away from her. Now, if you're not familiar with Brene's work, she studies shame and vulnerability, which is fabulous topics that help you release your emotional blockages. So I thought it'd be fitting to talk about an excerpt from her book today. So what I would love to share with you today is her BRAVING acronym. Now, this acronym actually follows through with the seven elements of trust and what you need to do in order to trust yourself, trust your husband, trust your partner, um, trust your friends and trust the people that you work with. I found that this acronym was so life-changing that I will be able to teach my children one day and they will be able to teach their children and I feel like this is such a beautiful powerful acronym that I feel like it can literally change your existence and I think it's really really amazing the way she segmented the word and okay let me just share it with you because it's so good so braving B stands for boundaries now we're just gonna focus on our own self-love journey um, but this can totally apply to every other situation. So in regards to your self-love journey, what are the boundaries that you are setting for yourself? Um, do you just let yourself just go and then at the end of the day you feel yourself like ridiculously stressed and overwhelmed and you know, are you actually giving yourself time to do your self-love practices? Or do you go to bed and you'll be like, oh, this is a terrible day, I can't cope. Because if that's happening, by setting those boundaries and be like, right, when I wake up, I'm gonna download Mel's Self Love Starter Kit and listen to her morning mindset audio. And I'm gonna give myself 14 minutes to infuse that delicious goodness into my subconscious so I feel like the most beautiful person in the whole wide world. And that way I'm programming my mind for success and for the rest of the day. You know, boundaries are so important because some of you may actually be giving your power away when you're feeling drained and lethargic. And if you are on the lower scale um, of the emotional guidance scale, like if you're in fear and depression, you're giving your power away, those boundaries. You may be even giving it away to yourself, which is really incredible and can be very detrimental to your health. So set those boundaries. Now R actually stands for reliability. So you need to do what you say you're gonna do instead of just talking about it and be like, you know, I'm gonna to learn to love myself, you know, trust my intuition and manifest my heart's true desires. Well, that's great. That's really great. You, you know, actions speak louder than words, which brings me to the next one, A, accountability, which is so beautiful because it's like, you know, if, if you've actually done those things and you're actually gonna start feeling a lot better and start moving yourself up the emotional guidance scale. Or if you don't do it, I want you to be like, I don't want you to punish yourself, but I want you to be like, okay, I didn't do this very well today, so tomorrow I'm going to do fill in the blanks. So if you're feeling really bad about yourself and you're really pissed off, you're like, I should have done this and I should have done that, I should have said that, I should have spoke up for myself, you know? It's like, the universe brings you the same lessons over and over and over until you start learning from them. So I think accountability is beautiful. And I think that, yeah, if things aren't going right, then just be like, okay, I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I am where I am and it's okay because I've, it's all that I've got. And just knowing that you're stepping into your power and you be like, I'm gonna do better next time. Um, which I think is such a beautiful one. I love that one. V stands for vault. Now, this one totally blew me away. V for vault is just like, um, if somebody tells you a secret, then that secret needs to stay with you. Which, when I first heard this, I was like, oh yeah, that's easy. But the second heart of it, she kind of flips it over. It's kind of like a two-faced one. Um, the other side where she talks about that you do not share information 
that is not yours to share, which this is something that I totally need to work on a lot more. And I need to, I just think, I just think it's such a beautiful one because so many of us get caught up in gossip. And I feel that when I'm with low vibrational people, I get sucked into that area quite quickly. But when I'm with higher vibrational people, like the contrast with it, we don't talk about that kind of stuff. And I feel like I need to be like, right, if someone else is sharing someone's information that's not theirs to share, oh my flipping God, the trust is gone because what are you saying when I'm not there? I think that's such an important one. And I feel like so many of us are saturated with people that are just gossipers. Um, and that is very interesting because it's like, I feel like people, when they, you gossip about other people, it's like, you have it's like your relationship is just built on nothing it's not a solid foundation it's just gossip and I used to be involved in a bigger group where it was just like the dudes would hang together and then the girls would hang together and the girls would just bitch about everything that the dudes don't do and I was just like I remember leaving that group devastated one of the girls and she was like you don't love me anymore I was like I love you but I love me more I think that's from um, a movie but I just thought that was really interesting. I is for integrity. So integrity is like trusting your intuition and not doing things that are fun, fast, and easy because um, fun, fast, and easy could literally be your... <sighs> Sometimes when we have emotional blockages that come up, we tend to cope with them in a way that can be unhealthy or detrimental to our health long-term. For instance, social drinking, because you're like, I'm gonna get shit faced tonight, ah, get on the turps. And I feel like pe when people do that, I feel like they're not like listening to their true inner self. I feel like uh, there's a healthy balance for when you can like party and have fun. But I feel like people that are doing that as a way to cope with the pain instead of healing it, I feel like that is totally detrimental to their health. Um, and I feel like when we listen to our intuition, like our self-love journey, it's not something that's going to be like, I'm going to be here and I'm hating myself and two days later I'm going to love myself. It's going to be amazing. Like it doesn't happen like that. And by having integrity and trusting the process and knowing that we have all the answers deep within ourselves, we don't need to look to an external factor for it, but there are people there to help you to bridge the gap as, um, we hold space for you as you heal. I think this is so powerful in that, you know, my journey to self-love has taken me seven years from a broken relationship to being engaged to the most beautiful man in the whole entire world. And that journey took time. And I think that we get so fixated with comparing someone's chapter one to someone else's chapter 22. And you know, you're just seeing one chapter from that person, like a glimpse into their life, and you have no idea exactly what they have been through. And I think that we, when we stay true to ourselves and our intuition always guides us to our highest good, we need to follow that. And not everyone is gonna understand that, but that is okay because not everyone is on the self-love journey because you know why? It takes a crap ton of work. It takes a lot of time to release those blockages. You're gonna cry a hell of a lot. And releasing those blockages is one of the best things that you can ever do for yourself. It's not one of the best things you can do for anybody else because nobody else matters but you and your connection to yourself. <sighs> anyway, next one. N for non-judgment. So this is like seeking for help, um, seeking help from others or um, when people come to you for help and you're not judging them because whew, the amount of people that I know that are judgy in my life blows me away, absolutely blows me away. And it's one of the one things that can turn a friendship from something that's blossoming to something that's like, no. Everyone's on their same journey, so you cannot judge where they're at because you haven't walked in the shoes that they have. And, you know, everyone is exactly where they need to be. 
People need to go through crap so they can rebuild themselves and start crafting a more stronger version of themselves so they can literally shine from the inside out. And it's not up to you to judge because you know, you have your own stuff going on. So keep your opinions to yourself. And if you need help, ask. And the last one, G is for generosity. I love this one. And I look at this one in a little bit of a different way to Brene in the fact that I look at generosity as like self-love practices, you know, making time for you. And I think being generous to yourself and being kind to yourself and obviously to others, I think that's a truly beautiful thing. And I noticed that when you're generous to yourself, I feel like that can be so many things like your self-talk. How are you talking to yourself? Are you talking to yourself in a high vibrational state or a low vibrational state? And when you're talking to other people, what's your self-talk around it? You know, like how, not your self-talk, but what's your language towards them? And I just think it's, I think generosity is something that we need to spend more time focusing around because, you know, when you're generous to yourself, you love who you are. And I feel like when you love who you are, it literally releases all of the other blockages. Like if you love who you are, I feel like G just somewhere summarizes them all, then you're going to set boundaries for yourself. You're going to, if you love yourself, you're going to be reliable. You're going to do those self-love practices. You're going to set accountability for yourself. If you haven't do, done it, you're like, oh, damn it. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. I'm going to try extra hard. For the, for the vault, it's like, um, what can I say for this one? It's just like you're keeping things confidential that are yours and you're not sharing anybody else's business. I think the vault one is, a, is an interesting one in regards to yourself. I feel like the vault is more, no, because if you love, you, if you love yourself, then you wouldn't be sharing anyone else's business. Yeah, that one works. Okay, I was <laughs> just thinking out loud then. Um, and then integrity, if you loved yourself, then you know, you're gonna be listening to your intuition. You're gonna be trusting that divine guidance within your soul. And if you love yourself, you're not gonna be judging, um, you're not gonna be putting, thinking bad thoughts about other people or thinking bad thoughts about yourself. So I think that this acronym, Braving from Brene Brown, is such a beautiful acronym. Let me just quickly go over it. Boundaries, reliability, accountability, vault, integrity, non-judgment and generosity. They are the seven elements of trust. I highly recommend you read Braving the Wilderness for um, Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown. It's basically the title, Braving the Wilderness, the wilderness being like the metaphor for life. And that as we're going through life, going through the uncertainties and dealing with contrast that comes up. And when we stay true to ourselves, there is literally gonna be times when you're gonna be by yourself and that's gonna be okay because you're following your intuition. Like how many people do you know are not following the, their intuition? There are so many people. So many people are walking around unconsciously and you, my love, by watching this channel are showing that A, you love yourself and that you wanna trust your intuition and you wanna manifest your heart's true desires. And I think that we're in such a beautiful place and the journey to self-love I've noticed as I've gone on my journey, it's been a massive roller coaster of emotions. And I feel that each day as I'm doing my self love practices and I'm dealing with contrast and working out what I want and what I don't, and working out who I want to spend my time with and who I don't, I find that's empowering. And I feel that the journey to self love, braving the wilderness, however you want to call it, is the most beautiful journey that you're ever going to embark and it's and it's one in which most people don't finish and i love that you are here and i love that you're watching this video and i love that you are doing anything you can to make yourself feel amazing by doing your self-love practices and nourishing and healing your body your mind and soul because you my love are a fabulous person and i am just so proud of you for getting to this stage like you're watching my channel, for goodness sake. There is something in you that is making you go like, I deserve more. I deserve to be in a relationship where my partner basically um, like uh, worships the ground that I walk on. I deserve to be around friends that love me 
when things are going good and when things are going bad. And I deserve to work in a job where I feel um, that I'm doing a service to the community and it nourishes me and it makes me feel like I'm an amazing person and it makes me feel like I'm truly helping people. Like that is a truly beautiful gift. And I just hope that wherever you are in your journey to become your greatest version, you know, that, that you are proud of where you are. We have to have gratitude for exactly where we are because when we have gratitude in where we are, we allow the universe to work more magic for us. And I know some of you may be in situations that you don't like, but there is always a silver lining. You may not see it immediately. Maybe it takes months to come or maybe it takes longer, depending if you're taking more detours. But just know that everything you are going through is divinely orchestrated for your highest good. Anyways, my love, I just wanted to leave you on that little note. If any of you are having difficulties trusting your intuition and you need some extra clarity and you need some guidance and you want some angel guidance, book yourself a private spiritual reading because I would love to read for you. The link is in the description or you can find Find me at melaniekatelove.com forward slash shop. There's two readings. There's one that can be delivered within seven Australian business days. And the other one is delivered within 48 hours. It's more like for a priority emergency situation. We're like, Mel, I need your help. And I'll be there. I'll be there. Just call my name and I'll be there. Don't you know, baby? Yeah, yeah. I'll be there I'll be there yeah, yeah, yeah. Just call my name And I'll be there Prompt you a little singing A little message from my angels And they were just singing it in my head I was like, no, I don't want to sing on camera I haven't warmed up my voice They're like, sing, 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 sing I was like, okay Anyways, my love, have an amazing day. Oh, also, download my self-love starter kit. It's free. I'll teach you three fabulous strategies to help you vibrate on the frequency of love. I love you, I love you, I love you. Sorry, this was really long, but I had a lot to say. Bye!